All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office getting ready to do this video on how the Justice Department announces the new rule addressing the stabilizing brace accessory used to convert your AR-15 pistol into an SBR. Uh, it's a load of crap. And, you know, it's amazing to me that, uh, well, not really amazing to me. You know as well as I do that this was coming. Uh, it was just a matter of time. And you know what? As much as I love the stabilizing brace, it was a unique way of, you know, having a firearm. So with that, we knew this was coming. Uh, the uh, government will change the goalpost on the days that they notice just because it makes them feel good. I can't, I don't know of but maybe one or two crimes that were committed with a firearm equipped with an S, uh, a uh, stabilizing brace. Let me know if I'm wrong down there. Okay, so I want to preface this video with something pretty cool. Uh, Am uh, Amazon, <laughs> no, YouTube has come out with this whole deal about how we cannot show certain items. One, the installation of a scope on a rifle. Uh, two, uh, we can't insert a mag, a 30 round magazine while on camera. Um, and you can't actually use a 30 round magazine. And what they've done is this, they've retroed this thing back to all videos that you may have done in the last, I don't know, 12 years uh, or whatever. So anyway, what we're having to do is go back and either blur out or erase. Now I decided to do this because my good friend Pops Quest told me about any video converter. I can actually download my video back into my computer, modify it, and then repost it. So what's going to happen is in the next couple of weeks, you're going to see these videos that I have done. I mean, uh, back to 2016. That were, I think they contain a lot of information for you guys, such as how to zero your rifle scope on, on the range. Uh, you know, things of that nature. <clears throat> but it also showed me inserting a six, 30 round magazine. So we're going to go ahead. You're going to see all these things and I'm going to repost them under new names and things of that nature because they are of value. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know if you object to that in the comment section down below. Now I've got to hurry up because my wife made me this little itty bitty, uh, buddy. Mary this morning. <laughs> All right. The Justice Department announces new rule to address stabilizing braces accessories used to convert pistols into short barrel rifles. Well, back in the day, it was not the case. I mean, I don't know. That's the thing that just really chaps my rear end is that these guys say, yes, well, this is acceptable. And it started off with the, uh, the, the, the blade. Remember the blade? Uh, and then all of a sudden everybody started moving into these different realms. And I guess somebody made a brace and, and then put it into mass production and it really wasn't approved by the ATF. <laughs> Even we don't really need their approval. So well, I'm going to read this to you. And as we do, I'm going to make comments and, and you think, uh, if you disagree with me, let me know. Uh, so today the department, and this is, I'm going to day late dollar short. This was <laughs> Friday, January, uh, Friday, the 13th in January, 2023. Today, the department of justice announced it is submitted to the Federal Register the Stabilizing Brace, final rule which makes clear that when manufacturers, dealers, and individuals use stabilizing braces to convert pistols. I, I like how they worded that because this is just so leftist, man. You can see Merrick Garland and his, whatever that dude's name is now with the ATF, is, and they compare the, the things that we're doing now to Al Capone. Uh, convert rifles, in, uh, pistols into rifles with a barrel less than 16 inches, commonly referred to as an SBR. They must comply with the laws that regulate those rifles, including the NFA, and we should, uh, what do they call it, uh, abolish the NFA. In April of 2021, at an event with the President Biden, the Attorney General directed the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives to address the issue of stabilizing braces. What's next, guys? Uh, 30 round magazines, uh, 20 round magazines, ammunition. We need to regulate ammunition. They're going to do everything they can in order to screw the pooch for us. Keeping our community safe from gun violence is among the department's highest priorities, said the Attorney General Merrick Garland. Almost a century ago, Congress determined that the SBR must be subject to heightened requirements because it's evil, it's bad. Oh, gosh. Today's rule makes clear that firearm manufacturers, dealers, and individuals cannot evade these important safety protections simply by adding accessories to pistols that transform them into SBR. And it's just, it's the verbiage, the words that they use to villainize these poor little things. This rule enhances public safety and prevents people from circumventing the laws Congress passed almost a century ago. Nobody's trying to circumvent these things. 
Hell, for me, it just makes it easier for me to carry a firearm around because I don't have to have that big, long 16-inch barrel with everything. I've got a nice, short, compact that I can put in a trunk, put in a bag. Nobody cares what it is. Go in and out of my apartment, out of town, and I don't have to worry about somebody going, ooh, what is that? I go, it's a guitar, so mind your own damn business. Ah, uh, okay, so let's go ahead. This rule enhances public safety and prevents people from circumventing the laws. In the days of Al Capone, <laughs> Congress said back then that short-barreled rifles and sawed-off shotguns should be subjected to greater legal requirements than most other guns. The, you know what? They do the same fucking thing. Excuse my French, but they do. Uh, yeah, guns do one thing, and that's it. And until they realize that the difference is a good guy and a bad guy, it is the bad guy that's doing the evil things, not the gun. The reason for that is that the SBR have greater capability of long, have the greater capability of long guns, yet are easy to conceal like a pistol. No shit, Dettelbach. But certain so-called stabilizing braces are designed to just attach the pistols, essentially converting them to SBRs to be fired from the shoulder. Therefore, they must be treated in the same way under the statute. And this is why, when, remember back in the day, they, they issued that whole thing about what uh, the five levels and the steps to consider your uh, pistol, uh, yeah, or SBR. It was impossible and that's what they do. Since the 1930s, the NFA has imposed requirements on short barrel rifles because they are more concealable than long barrel rifles, but have more destructive power than the traditional handguns. Beyond background checks and serial numbers, these heightened requirements include taxation and registration. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, taxation and registration. All right. For one of the guys that asked me about the fuzzy things on top of my hat, that's where the dog chewed a hole in it. But I love this hat. Uh, including background checks, transfers, including private transfers. Often when pistols are converted to rifles by the use of a stabilizing brace covered by the rule, they have barrels less than 16 inches in length and must comply with the heightened requirements that apply to short barreled rifles in the NFA. The rule goes into effect on the date of the publication in the Federal Register. All right, here, here's a funny thing. Uh, the rule allows for a one. Okay, the rule goes into effect on the date of publication in the Federal Register. So that date's very important. So when it comes out, we'll let you guys know. The rule allows for a 120 day period for manufacturers, dealers, and individuals to register tax free. So you're not going to have to deal with the $200 tax stamp, but you are going to have to register if you want to keep it. But you know what? Here's the thing throw the damn brace away, put a damn stock on it. You got an SBR. The NFA short barrel rifles covered by the rule. Other options include removing, and this is absolutely ridiculous the stabilizing brace to return the firearm to a pistol or surrendering a covered short barreled rifle to the atf nothing in the rule here's the funny thing nothing in the rule bans stabilizing braces so we're not banning them we're just going to make it impossible for you to use them in the way they were intended to use uh anyway all right so that's the case uh, on June 7, 2021, the Department of Justice issued a notice of proposed rulemaking, and during that 90-day open comment, the ATF received more than 237,000 comments. They received the comments. I want to see the comments that were supportive of this, because that's a lot of comments, right? Uh, the final rule is submitted to the Federal Register can be viewed here. And I'll put that link down below. To learn more about rulemaking processes, please see attached uh, deal. So I'll put that also there. All right. So anyway, guys, this is pretty simple. See that guy right there? Hold on one second. That, hold on. I'll put my hand down so you can see it real clear. That is my go-to firearm. I carry that in a nice little brace, uh, a ni nice case. Hold on one second. I'll show you this case. Pretty neat. See this case? This is one of the nicest cases ever. So the nice thing is uh, I can carry magazines right here. I also carry, well, I'm not going to pull it out because it puts a whole new level of distinction on this video if I hold or handle the firearm. But anyway, this is a nice case by Link's Defense. This is the Bureau, and it's perfect for carrying around your AR-15 pistol. Uh, now, tell me what your thoughts are down below. I know the whole thing with these guys is absolute BS. Um... The GOP is all over it, and I'm, I'm hoping so. There's going to be a lot of viola uh, a lot of lawsuits probably fire filed with this thing, and uh, without any 
issues. So with that being said, guys, again, we're going to redo all those videos. I'm going to repost them. Okay. Uh, we are going to start transferring everything over to the rumble site. Another one of the guys, he said, I unsubscribe from your channel on YouTube because I don't want to support YouTube. Uh, but he's going to be over in rumble. So we're going to transfer a bunch of videos over there. Uh, there are videos over there showing you how to do what we need to do in order to continue doing what we're doing. Wow, that sounded like uh, Kamala Harris there for a second. So with that being said, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, we're going to be putting more out this like this uh, in the future. And it's just, you know, we've been a little quiet in the news lately as far as guns, but I'm glad something like this has come up so we can let you guys know. And we knew it was coming. So with that being said, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform support our constitution as it was written by our founding fathers because this right here these guys don't care about your rights it's a feel-good law that they think just like that asshole J pritzker in illinois and evidently there are more counties that are uprising against this thing and somebody said it's the prosecutors that need to support the, the constitution and there are several of those as well it's kb32 i'm out of here y'all be good boom see you tender i'm praying for you brother